why you should never cave in on your values. Today, I'm gonna to discuss why under no circumstances should you ever cave in on your values. My name is Blaze Asayan, and I help young men break bad habits, build confidence, and develop self-esteem. Today, I'm gonna to discuss why once you cave in on your values, it will make you weak and have you turn into a person who lacks confidence and lacks integrity in themselves and in what they believe in. A couple of years ago, I used to give in when people would tell me that my values were wrong, right? The place that I grew up in, Los Angeles, everyone had certain values, especially going to um, you know, a private school in Los Angeles. I mean, everyone was pretty much one-minded, ultra progressive. I'll just say that. Look, not political. Is I'm not talking politics right now. I mean, I'm talking culture. And, you know, the two are tied together very closely, but cultural issues have been something that are really important to me for a while now. And it's something that people are super scared to touch on unless they're in the majority. I'm in the minority. So I grew up as a conservative in Los Angeles and I had my views on the world. My father is from Armenia, right? It's not a progressive country, very culturally conservative place. And he passed on those values to me. And look, I just, I didn't just take those va uh, values, you know, and, and just never question them. No, I actually questioned them for a long time because I grew up in an environment at school and, you know, all my friends who weren't that way, who had parents who grew up in America. So their parents were progressive and, you know, Los Angeles inherently is major majority uh, progressive. I can't really think of a more progressive city in the country, in the world even. So growing up there, you know, my values weren't accepted by the people around me, which meant that on multiple occasions, I was told that my values were wrong and it presented chances for me to cave in or to hold strong to my values. And every time I was presented with that dilemma, I would always cave in because I was scared of the backlash that I was going to get from society, right? So after a while, I started getting very aggravated that I kept having to give in, give in on my values and kept hearing people around me saying that, you know, people with my kind of values are wrong and evil. So that really messed with me. It messed with my mind a lot. And, you know, that, that's because I was lacking integrity. I was lacking, you know, integrity with myself. I knew what I believed inside, but I was project projecting something else. I was just agreeing, getting along to get along, you know? And like I said, eventually, you know, I had enough. So I finally decided that I would no longer do that and I would start saying how I felt about topics. And I did that, you know, in a classroom setting. I did that when I was in private around people, started sharing my values. And some people were accepting of those values. Other people weren't, you know, and those people are ignorant and they don't know how to handle being around someone who doesn't just agree with them. They think that everyone has to share their opinion or else you know, you're evil. Although I'm not that way. When someone has opposite opinions from me, I never do that to them. So I started to realize that this was the case. I started to realize that, you know, I could be super nice and, you know, just get along. But, you know, really, some people needed to be taught a lesson. Some people needed to be taught a lesson that not everyone's going to agree with them. And I was one of very few that was able to stand up and say, no, I don't agree with that. I have a different opinion. And like I said, some people are gonna hate you for stating that opinion. And some people are gonna very much respect you for stating that opinion. Because there are a lot of people staying quiet who don't agree with majority opinion and they're scared. So they just act like they believe, but they'll come to you in private and say, man, you know, I wish I had the courage and the strength to 
say something else, say another opinion. You know, I, I really wish I did, but uh, you know, I don't want I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to face that backlash, that societal backlash. Face not being liked. You know, a lot of people nowadays just want to be liked by everyone around them. They want to be accepted by everyone around them. Look, if you want to do anything great in your life, you you cannot worry about that. Okay? No one who's great is accepted by everyone. Think about massive people who have achieved massive success in society. I mean, think about them. There are so many people who don't like them. Who, you know, I would even go as far to say, you know, they're they hate them. But those people who are successful don't care. They block out all that noise. They don't read comments on their Instagram posts. They focus on them. They focus on what they're doing. And they go and achieve and achieve and achieve and keep achieving. And by doing that, they're able to silence those people who are hating on them. And, you know, no matter how much you achieve, people are still going to hate on you. The more you achieve, you're going to get more hate because more people are going to know you. So, look, those people who are ultra successful, you know, they don't cave in. They don't give in. They state what they believe in. And if people hate them, fine. But a lot of people are going to love them. More people are going to more people are going to love you than they are going to hate you. All right, that's just a fact of life. Even people who say they hate you, they don't actually hate you. Most people don't have re real levels of hate in their heart. You know, they they just they just can't stand that you disagree with them. You don't share their values. So look, I want you to know that when you're faced with, you know, the uh, the prospect of, you know, either caving in on your values or upholding your values. Look, it's di it's difficult. It's hard. I know that, but you can't cave in. You just can't. You're going to feel horrible about yourself. I'm telling you your confidence is going to go, you know, through the floor if you cave in when people start saying the opposite opinion and you know you don't you agree with them or you know what's even worse than that is just staying silent not saying anything at all right people who stay silent those are the people who are worried about fitting in when people are silent everyone around them's like oh yeah they're really nice you know they're really nice or or when you agree they're like yeah he's a he's a real nice guy you know and i'm talking to men right now you know, you don't want to be a nice guy. You don't want to be the nice guy who's, who's known by everyone as being that, okay? You need to stand up for yourself and, and, and state when you disagree, right? If you don't have people hating on you, then you're not doing something right, okay? You need to have people who really dislike you because they're mad that you have the confidence to go out there and say what you mean, and you got to have those people who love you for doing that. And then you got to surround yourself with those people who love you for doing that, for standing up for yourself, for stating how you feel about certain things, even when it means being, you know, ridiculed by the people around you, facing backlash. Those are the people you want to surround yourself with. Those are the people that are going to be be with you for the long term in your life. So look, the moral of this video don't cave in, ever. Always stand up for what you believe in. I know so many young men out there right now who hate what's happening in today's society. They hate the direction we're going in, socially. They hate that young men are being told to silence their ambition, their desire for power, their desire to do great things, that they're privileged, evil, all this nonsense, okay? You don't have to listen to it, and you can actually say stuff to combat it. And if you do, you will unlock new levels of confidence and you will step into that person you always knew you could be. A person who walks around with their chest up, who isn't scared to you know, go against majority opinion, who is fine getting in a little bit of a scrap, a verbal scrap. That's fine. So I want you to 
you know, keep pushing, keep fighting, never give up, and don't compromise. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about me, what I'm doing with the Discipline Institute, you can click the link in my description, helping young men break bad habits, build confidence, develop their self-esteem. And if you want to check out my other social platforms as well, you can get those in the description. I post frequently on Instagram, a lot of good stuff out on there. So again, thank you for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.